So there you're going to be continuing again to calculate fractions of amounts. Again, to be successful, you work systematically using a phrase split and pick. You're going to use your times table and division facts, and you're going to be highlighting key information to help you. So today's problem is here. Oscar wants to read 180 books in the year. He reads two-fifths of them in the spring and a further one-third of them in the summer. How many books does he still have to read by the end of the year? So the first thing I need to do is highlight the key information in the problem. Sorry, Bob's not working with me. So, Oscar wants to read 180 books in the year. So there is my whole 180 books. He reads two-fifths of them in the spring. So in my bar model, you see that I've already split it up. So I know that two-fifths is going to be there. And I'm going to work out what two-fifths are in a moment. And a further one-third of them in the summer. So one-third. And again, I'm going to work that out in a moment. How many books does he still have to read? So if he has worked out the two-fifths bar and the one-thirds bar, then he's going to have that many left over. So, first of all, he reads two-fifths of 180 books in the spring. So let's work out what two-fifths are. So let's go 180, split it by the denominator, which is 5, which gives me 36. And then I'm going to pick two of them. So 36 multiplied by 2 gives me 72 books. So here he has read 72 books. In the summer he reads a further one third book. So I've got my whole again and he's going to read one third of it. So I'm going to split it by my denominator. This time by 3 gives me 60. And I'm going to pick one of them. So 60 multiplied by 1 remains at 60. So he has read 60, so he's read 72 books and 60 books. Now I want to find out how many he's still got to read. So if I add those two together, 60 adds 72, uh, which gives me 132. And then I take that away from my whole, that's going to give me how many books he has yet to read. So that would be the answer to that problem. It's 48 books left to read. Now. As you go through your questions, you may be asked how, what fraction of books is he still to read? And that is where the bottom line of my bar model comes in. So if I wanted to work out what fraction 48 is of 180, all I've done is found a common denominator of two fifths and one third. So I've split my bar model into 15. So this would be one fifth, there would be another fifth, then I have a third, and I can easily now see what fraction is left. Four fifths. Cannot be simplified as they don't have a common factor. Your task today then is to complete the different pick card. I've had a go at a similar one to your starting question. I would expect to see a bar model and all of your workings for each question. And just like normal, answers are underneath. I need you again to tick them if it's correct. And if you've got something wrong, have another go in another colour if you can. Um, and if you've got it wrong a second time, that is when your teacher will step in and give you some feedback.